Hi, I'm Sergeant Shaky, and now that you know how markup chains work and how it's useful in search engine optimization, I'm going to be showing you how to apply that knowledge to boost your views. So let's say we want to make a video on how to boil rice. Well first off, we need to see the search volume for it as well as the competition. We can use Google Trends or the vidIQ extension for this, but personally I prefer the vidIQ extension as it gives me a static rating of how well my topic might perform if I decide to make a video on it. I also recommend checking out your creator studio often as it has a lot of good information there such as average watch time, average percentage viewed, impressions, etc. Now going back to our search results, we can see a few key terms at the top of our search results such as how to cook and perfect rice. We can use these terms in our tags which will allow our video to have a better chance at being recommended by the YouTube algorithm under related videos. So now that we covered most of what we need for the video search engine optimization, let's get into how markup chains can play a role in this. As mentioned before in one of our previous videos, markup chains move from one state to another in order to predict a certain outcome. So in this case we want to predict how many impressions our video will be able to get, which is the amount of users that found our video. Our search terms and keywords in this case will help our video be searched more often, which is our initial state, the second state being our impressions. This is a simple two-state Markov chain which can be expanded to many more states, but for the sake of simplification and just understanding how all of this ties to SEO, we will focus on these two states. Because this wasn't already confusing enough. <laughs> Anyways, our initial state will help decide our sample space, and a larger sample space means there will be more users that can click on our video. Accomplishing this state already means the probability of our video being watched has increased dramatically. The next state is our impressions, which is pretty much our sample space. However, this isn't the only two-state markup chain that makes up impressions. We also have YouTube recommendations which can be boosted by more users clicking on our video out of all of our impressions, aka click-through rate, as well as increasing our average view duration which is the amount of time the average viewer has spent watching our video. Another markup chain would be any impressions we gain through our video being shared on other platforms such as Discord, Instagram, Twitter, etc. All three of these, YouTube search, YouTube recommendations, and sharing our video make up most of our impressions, but of course, there are many more ways to increase our impressions count which will not be discussed in this video. I will say though that there are a few states in our markup chains that can reduce our impressions, one of which may be competition. If there are too many channels uploading the same content as our video, then a lot of potential viewers will spread out to those videos as opposed to ours. Grrr, those gosh darn big names are stealing my views. Now to conclude, how does Markup Chain help grow your channel? Well, the more engaged your viewers are, the more likely they are to come back to watch more. And remember how I said this Markup Chain can expand to many more states? Well, another state would be how many returning viewers we have. So the more that number increases, the higher the probability of our video attracting new viewers. So to demonstrate your understanding of the topic, I will be showing two questions, each with four different markup chains and your job is to find the correct example within 15 seconds. Here's the first one. Here's another one. This video was informative to you and if you enjoyed the content please be sure to like and subscribe and I hope to see you all in the next video. Seriously, I need to increase my returning viewers count so that I can grow my channel. Oh yeah, and did you know that end screens can help with increasing your impressions count? Click on a video!